Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we are looking back on the last 30 days, the last month in cryptocurrency. Which were the best performing top 20 cryptocurrencies? Now it might seem like, seem like something minor, insignificant, but I want to remind us all, in particular myself, around what we can forget in literally 30 days, especially in cryptocurrency when we often see news events spike the market, dump the market in a matter of minutes. And so I want to look back on the last 30 days to find out which were the best performing cryptocurrencies over this period since the crash. So the significance of the last 30 days was it was 30 days ago to today that we had the major crash in May where everyone was absolutely crapping themselves. So before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell notification icon, because there's a lot of people who are watching that have not subscribed yet. Hit that like button as well and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All right, let's dive in. Quick mention to all of the Cardano holders. If you wanted to make some return on your Cardano while the market is going sideways, check out the Investor Accelerator staking pool. You don't have to be a member of the Investor Accelerator. All you have to do is just look at the description, the details are down there, and the tutorial video, which you can see on the screen now to stake your Cardano from your wallets and earn yourself approximately 5% per annum in Cardano. All right, fear and greed index. Let's take a quick look at this because this is something we're following in our Bitcoin purchasing plan. So our plan to buy Bitcoin at the lows. Now we have not had to buy Bitcoin since the 9th of June. So the last few, uh, the last week and a bit have all been over our 15 uh, level, our 15 fear and greed. As you can see on the plan, it is currently at around 6% profit. Bitcoin value 37,600 approximately at the time of this recording. All of our purchases. We'll just keep updating this day by day in case the fear drops. And as you can see, so far it's worked out okay. If we get below this average price that we bought in at around 35-ish K, 36K, then we have more opportunity to buy Bitcoin at lower prices. So that's what I'm waiting for anyway. The coin market caps were at 1.56 trillion. Our 50% level, 1.33. We're going to look at the top 20 today. So excluding the stable coins and that's pretty much it. We've got three stable coins and I won't look at ICP. We're going to use VeChain instead. So top 20 are looking okay. Nothing too over the top. A few percent down, a few percent up. Nothing really that interesting. The best performer over the last week has been Theta and Matic. So I think Theta is going to play a big part in these next 20. Now, if you are looking to learn more about investing cryptocurrency, you're a beginner, you're intermediate, you just want to get an idea of how to trade and invest long term, check out the Investor Accelerator. Link to this is in the description down below. Let's start and we'll keep the charts nice and clean today. We're just looking at a line chart because all I'm looking at today is the 19th of May to where we currently are with a rough idea of the percentage gain or loss on these top 20. And then we're going to look at the dominance as well, because of course the dominance is important with my theory at this point, the way I'm investing is I think Bitcoin is going to lead the charge. Altcoins will bleed against their Bitcoin value. And so the cycle begins again. All right. So Bitcoin up a couple of a percent. So from the 19th to where we are now, 2.2%. Remember the fear on that day. This was a hectic day. We did fall a very long way. And from that point, 30 days later, 2% up. Ethereum, 4% down. Nothing too much else there. We're getting into a nice sort of sideways consolidation. Binance is about 5% up. So probably one of the better performers so far. ADA, basically flatlining from that point, which isn't too bad considering what's happened from those highs. So ADA is basically flat. It was at a close price of uh, $1.48. Sorry about that. There we go. So yeah, it was $1.48 right through to where we are now at $1.48. So not much there. Dogecoin, 19th. We are down about 10%. But remember, Doge has, had run up a hell of a lot. And that's the thing that we'll see. That's the theme from cryptos that did run up very, very hard are probably down a little bit more. There are some exceptions, but just that's what we have to know. And then to get a, a better reading, if you were holding these coins at the top, then you have to measure from the top down. But if we're just looking for what has performed the best since the crash, looking for altcoins to buy on that dip, this is the way I'd be looking at to see which ones have performed well. It's very easy at the time to say, I'm going shopping, I'm buying the dip, 
I'm getting all these cryptocurrencies, but if you don't track the performance, then what is the point at the end of the day? You know, you want to be getting the best stuff you can. XRP, one of the worst performers, that's not really, uh, it's not a surprise in my opinion. It performs reasonably well at certain times and other times it just gets absolutely dumped. 21% down since that close of the 19th. DOT, not very good either, but nothing like XRP. 10% down since the close. Uni, 6 7% down since that close. Bitcoin Cash, again, no surprises. It's not a fantastic long-term whole cryptocurrency. 15% down since the close. Now, you're starting to see a bit of a pattern here. Although we think that altcoins are moving up and some have had a pretty good run, overall from that close price, a lot of them are down, which is why we can also see the Bitcoin dominance increase. Litecoin, again, no surprises. Probably one of the worst performing top 20 cryptocurrencies this year, for this bull cycle anyway. 12% uh, down from that close. Solana, 10% up from the close. Not doing too well, even after some of the, uh, the scary news from yesterday where Solana went down and FTX exchange went down, uh, it's still up 10, 10.5% from the crash. Theta, best performing. This is the best performing, take note. It is up 66% since the crash low. So the 19th was actually the lowest close that it had. Many other cryptos you can see from, say, Ethereum actually had a lower close from the 19th. Bitcoin, uh, sorry, Binance also had a lower close. Cardano had a lower close. Doge, lower closes. XRP, lower close. You can see that. See the pattern here. This is the 19th close, and I'm looking at this close here, which is the 23rd. That's the 23rd, and they've all had lower closes so far. Lower close. That just shows weakness. Essentially, there's a bit of weakness in these where I had low, lower closes. Solana has managed to recover, but then Theta, 19th, there's a 23rd. It had a very uh, equal close, but it started its trend down a bit earlier. So maybe that's why it's up. Chainlink uh, also down 13 or 14%. Probably one of the wor uh, worst performers of the coins that I personally like. So that's just my opinion of stuff that I want to be holding. But this has performed not so well. So yeah, 14, we'll call that 14% down from the crash. Matic from the crash after such a solid rally from the next low on the 23rd, it is still down 9%. So that's the crash low of the ninth. So I'm just I'm just using a start point for all of these. If you wanted to change the start points on each of them, then you don't really have a very consistent reading. If we look at the close from the 23rd, then sure, it's up. And many of these other cryptos, again, would be up from their crash low of the 23rd. But that was the second dip. And for Bitcoin, it didn't dip a second time. So I'm using that as the, the major... Uh, the major dip in all of these markets. So we've looked at um, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin Solana. Uh, here we go, Chainlink and Matic, again, down 9%. Stellar, another very, very bad performer, 33% down. So Stellar and XRP have been the worst performers so far. VeChain, so VET is one of our last ones here and it's basically flatlined, which is not a bad sign uh, considering many of these top 20s have crashed. So that's the top 20. We've looked at all of these here from VeChain up. VeChain was flat. Stellar, the worst. Matic, 9 or so percent. Chainlink, 13%, another bad one. Theta, one of the best. Theta was the best, actually, at 66% up. So the worst was Stellar. The best was Theta. Solana, also good, 10%. Litecoin was down 12%. Just going this from memory. Bitcoin Cash also down 15%. Uniswap was down about 6, 7%. And Polkadot didn't work out as well, about 10% down. And yeah, the rest of these have all been down. Cardano is probably another good one there. XRP down, Doge down about 10, Cardano about flat. Binance, Ethereum, Bitcoin, of course. So Ethereum is 4% down and Binance at 5. So the best, Theta, the worst, XLM and XRP and Litecoin. Worst performance, best, loved it. Okay, I've said that a few times. Let's have a look at the dominance. Bitcoin dominance is up 2.5%. Now you can start to see why the dominance is up and the altcoins, well, obviously they're down. And so this is why we have continued to see a bit of a growth in the dominance. I suspect we'll still, still see um, a further growth. 
in particular based on the last three or four videos I've put out this week. So if you haven't seen them, I'll leave a link to them at the end of this video. Otherwise, check them out on the channel. It's basically explaining alts against their Bitcoin value, not their USD value, their Bitcoin value. I often get the, the FUD comments in, in down below in the comment section. I don't know what people are thinking. Just look at the data. That's all I'm doing here. I'm not trying to go out for some FUD. It's literally what's written on the chart. We're looking here 2% up. I suspect this is what's going to continue. I see them uh, bleeding, dropping in their Bitcoin values. And as we've just seen over the last 30 days, they have dropped in their USD value also. Uh, so that's going to lead to the Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin continuing up. My next target's around 48 to 50% dominance. And if that happens, then yes, we will continue to see the bleed on alts on their Bitcoin values. And I suspect that will happen. You know, my, my probabilities aren't super strong, but they're a little higher to that happening than they, them not because I see a higher low. We don't have the higher high yet, so that's why it's still uncertain. But the higher low is helping, especially in this uncertain time with the rest of the cryptocurrency markets. Now, for you guys wanting Lamborghinis, when we come back to this bull market, don't worry. 2021, Lamborghini's basically cleared out. So just lucky that the bull market is off for this year and we'll come back in 2022. So now is the time to be organizing our portfolios, building them out, getting ourselves a plan so we can come back and buy a Lamborghini in 2022 when they actually have some in stock. So keep that in mind. Put this on your calendars, put on your, your dream vision board behind you in the background and um, you know go to sleep thinking about the next colored Lambo that you're going to get from buying in this period where it's completely dead silent. It's very boring in the market. You would have seen all of the urgent, massive, huge other news, whatever the hell's going on out there. And like we just saw with the top 20, the market has basically done zilch. We haven't gone anywhere. So don't worry. These are the times that we are planning to get our Lamborghinis for 2022. Obviously jokes, I, I drive a very nice family car. Before we end for the Aussies, SMSFs, if you want to get your superannuation fund into cryptocurrency, go and check out this link down below. They've got a $300 credit free until the end of financial year for us here in Australia. Financial year ends 30th of June. This is for to set up your SMSF, self-managed super fund, to be able to purchase your cryptocurrencies. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Daily Q&As over here. Stories, go and check that out. Beware of scammers. I don't know how many times we have to say that. There are scammers everywhere on Instagram, scammers on Twitter. So make sure you're following that. And uh, yeah, go and check us out here. Lots of crypto news, Lamborghini news, all good stuff. I will catch you guys at the next video. Make sure to stake your Cardano with the Investor Accelerator. Uh, links down below, tutorial guides down there as well if you need some help with that. Uh, like the video up, share, subscribe. If you want to help out, uh, drop your comments down below. Help people out in the comment section. Uh, I'm forever grateful if you can uh, drop your comments down there. It's really helpful for the channel as well. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Huge video coming out for you tomorrow, looking at Cardano in particular. So make sure you stick around for that. So, uh, hit the bell notification icon for that as well. More big videos coming out next week. I can't contain myself. Let's enjoy our weekends. I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.